A Grand Rapids couple that we have featured a few times over the years is now hoping to change Michigan fertility law altogether. Two different judges in Kent County denied their parental rights to their babies who were born to a gestational carrier. Annie Stowski met them and shares their struggles, Annie, against what they are calling an outdated system. Yeah, they say that is exactly what it is, Doug. Tammy and Jordan Myers have been spending every possible moment visiting their twins in the NICU at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. But at a time when they should be focusing on bringing their healthy babies home, they're being forced through the long and invasive legal process of actually adopting their own biological children. I don't want other families to have to go through what we're going through right now because it's it's horrible. Tammy and Jordan Myers, unfortunately, no strangers to heartbreak. A breast cancer diagnosis five years ago, robbing Tammy of the chance to carry any more children herself. But fast forward to early 2020, the Myers connected with Lauren Vermilia, who volunteered to carry a baby for them. And on Monday, January 11th, Lauren delivered their twins, Eames and Ellison. It was um, amazing on all accounts and really special to be there with Lauren to take part in the delivery. The twins, the combination of Tammy's frozen eggs extracted prior to her cancer treatments and Jordan's sperm, then implanted into Lauren via in vitro fertilization. Biologically, the twins are 100% Tammy and Jordan's, but legally, the state of Michigan doesn't see it that way. The laws are very outdated and um, were created when, during a time when women could not give birth to a baby that wasn't their own, uh, so it kind of, made it somewhat impossible for me to be recognized as the mother. As the Myers attorney, Melissa Neckers, explains, Michigan's Surrogacy Parenting Act makes compensated surrogacy completely illegal for carriers and intended parents. Even if a carrier isn't compensated, any agreement that the parties come to isn't acknowledged in court. Michigan just says, you can't do it. If you do do it, it's void. And then there's no additional process for cutting off the parental rights of the person who gave birth to the babies and establishing the rights of the people who are the biological parents. After Lauren became pregnant, the Myers started the process to gain pre-birth rights to the twins for both Tammy and Jordan. That request denied. Deep down in my heart, I thought any judge that heard our story, that there was no way they could look at us in the eye and say, we know these are your biological babies, but you cannot have rights to them. <laughs> There's no way. I literally cried for weeks. The backup plan, getting legal rights for only Jordan under the Paternity Act of 1956. Just last Friday, that too was denied by a different judge. It's really, really hard to sit there and hold your kid and look in their face. And I did it multiple times on Friday with like tears streaming down my face, just not, like, just not even being acknowledged. You know, as, as a parent, when these kids, you know, in the back of your head, they're biologically yours. Lauren, equally devastated for the family. I think technically they, I have two more children, um, according to the laws of Michigan, which is not the truth because they are not my children. Um, science says it. <laughs> the doctors that put them in my body says it. Um, and now, for some reason... Um, the courts have decided to make this a harder process on Tammy and Jordan than it really needs to be. And that just breaks my heart. Adding insult to injury, Neckers says judges in other Michigan counties are granting these requests, but Kent County won't seem to budge. And I think all of the judges would agree that the law needs to change. And they want the law to change because they don't like making these decisions that put people through um, extra hardship either. Now begins the long, expensive, and invasive process for the Myers to adopt their twins, which will involve home studies, background checks, and fingerprinting for starters. Not even taking a look at the fact that we've already raised an eight-year-old daughter who is kind, kind, kind and selfless. loving and <laughs> You know, she's great. And while the Myers have exhausted most of their options, they hope the Michigan legislature will consider updating the state's fertility laws, preventing other couples who have already lost so much from losing their rights as parents, too. We just want our names on the birth certificates and to give them insurance. <laughs> I just, I really, really hope and pray that, if anything, this just brings more awareness and at least allows some change, some real change, because no family should be ever subjected to this.
Now, Necker says that they're hoping to get a more updated fertility bill sponsored in the state legislature this year and then hopefully get it passed. Meantime, by next month, Michigan will be the only state in the entire country that has not updated their fertility laws to include a streamlined or at least a clear process for intended parents like Tammy and Jordan to gain legal rights to their children. In the newsroom, Andy Satowski, Box 17 News. All right. Thank you for that, Andy. That is quite the story.